Well, this was not the video I was expecting to make today. The Milwaukee Bucks have just refused to take the court in their playoff game five against the Orlando Magic. Obviously, we're still waiting on some developments here, but what we know is that the Bucks refused to take the court because of the the death, or not the death, the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. He didn't die, he's actually still alive. And uh, the Bucks and a lot of NBA teams are, are very upset about this. And so here's the thing, I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase of why I made this video. Because there's been, there's been a lot of politics in sports for the past few months. Obviously, you know, there's been coronavirus that it's affected everything. And this channel, what I do, you know, being a sports channel, I don't really like to get into all that stuff. Um, what I want to do is I want to talk about sports. I want to talk about this thing that we all love. Um, and to me, the, the politics and all of this other stuff is kind of tertiary to it. And even in this video, I'm not going to discuss my thoughts on the Jacob Blake stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to do any of that because you don't come to this channel to watch that. You go somewhere else. If you want to hear about that, go to, you know, anywhere else. Go to OutKick. Go to ESPN. Go to any of those other places that are discussing that if you want to hear their opinions. You don't come here for that. What I wanted to discuss, actually, is the nature of what sports is, right? This has nothing to do with the actual fact pattern in the case of Jacob Blake or anything that these NBA players are, are protesting. They have the right to do that, whatever they decide to do. This has to do with the nature of what sports is and how I believe that the Milwaukee Bucks decision as well as the Raptors and the Celtics, two teams that are talking about boycotting their next game, that they are violating the precepts of what sport is supposed to be. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So again, I'm not gonna get into my political opinions. You don't come here to listen to that, okay? I'm just going to get into what this means for sport. Okay, so let's talk about let's let's talk about what is the definition of sport. Okay, this is from dictionary.com. Okay, the definition of sport is an athletic activity requiring skill or physical prowess and often of a competitive nature, as racing, baseball, tennis, golf, and a bunch of other stuff. Adjective of relating to or used in sports or a particular sport suitable for outdoor or informal wear. Seems like a pretty uh, basic definition here, but the word carries so much more of a connotation than just the definition would suggest. From the earliest days of what sport was, going back to the ancient Olympics of Greece, it was about competition, yes, but it was also about bringing people together. Look at pictures of of uh, you know the Pantheon and, and ancient places where they used to play sports. And you see, I mean, there's all these people coming together. And at the time they were coming together because most people died while they were playing those sports, but that's not really the point. They were coming together. And as sports has progressed from that time, it's always been about bringing people together. And sport, is a universal language. Sport exists everywhere. In the US, you know, we invented the sport of football. And then, you know, in Canada, they invent hockey. Over in Europe, they invented soccer. And, you know, and there's all these sports that independent of each other were invented and ultimately come together into the same thing. People playing these sports at a very high level and thousands of people going to a stadium to watch them do it and then eventually hundreds of thousands or millions of people watching on television and before that it was listening on the radio and before that it was reading about it in the newspaper the point is that sport is always designed to bring people together and that's why it's a big reason why i love it so much it's one of those things where you <laughs> you can always get into a conversation, you know? Some of the best conversations I've ever had with people that I have never met before was because they were wearing uh, a jersey or they were wearing a hat or something. Um, and we got to discuss that. We got to talk about that. And it was great. And, you know, you get, obviously there's there's rivalries and, and look, I, I, I know that, 
better than than most because I've grown up my whole life as a UCLA fan and and obviously the UCLA USC rivalry um, is one of the fiercest in all of sports. You know, even with that, I remember one of the funniest conversations I ever had was with someone I met who went to USC and we got to, you know, have friendly banter and then, you know, we got to we got to talk about um, you know, the insults of our own teams. You know, UCLA, you clowns all you clowns lost again, and then USC you spoiled children, you know, with the acronyms and everything. It was great. That's what sports is supposed to be. So you fast forward to here, and look, I'm not saying that sports can't be an agent of change, but I want you, after this video is done, to go watch, to go watch the 30 for 30. Uh, if you have ESPN Plus or, or however you might do that, go watch the 30 for 30 on the South African rugby team. It's called the 16th Man. That is the perfect representation of what sport is, what it was meant to do. And what you'll notice is that what it what it was about when South African rugby, this was right after South Africa uh, integrated after many, many decades of apartheid. And what you'll notice is all of the players and everyone around and, and what they said was, our goal was just to go out and play and bring the country together. And then by the end, you see black and white who for years had hated each other, justifiably, um, at least in the, in the case of the black people, uh, because they'd been kept down for so long, but then they ended up, you know, cheering their country with their fellow fans, black, white, or green. That is the power of sport. That's what it can do. Fast forward now to today, where you have you have the Bucks and the Celtics and the Raptors possibly um, that are boycotting their games that to me just seems to go against the nature of what sport is supposed to be. If you see this case, this Jacob Blake case, and if you are disgusted by it and, and you want to do something about it, okay, again, I'm not going to get into it. It's your prerogative to do that. But to be being paid millions of dollars to play a game and to not even show up to do that because of this other thing that has nothing to do with you, I, uh, what does this accomplish? What exactly does this do? Are you changing anything? Does anything change in this Jacob Blake case? No, of course it doesn't. Does anyone have a different opinion? If anything, you have people who are wanting to watch the NBA, who are wanting to watch Bucks Magic or Celtics Raptors, and now they can't because you decided that, that that's the case. And it's not because you weren't being paid for it. This is different than a holdout or something. This is different than, than uh, you know, collective bargaining, um, you know, because that's about, that's about how, that's about not being paid to do what you're doing. That's a totally different thing. You're being paid to play a game and you can't even go out and play the game. And to me, it, it just, not only is it kind of gross on a personal level because you are refusing to do the job that you're being paid to do, it's, it, it completely goes against the precept of what sport is supposed to be. The idea of bringing people together, the idea that I can turn on a game and forget about other things that are happening in the world, whatever your political opinions might be. And, and I assume for most, for most of you, you're probably not even very political at all. Either way, you know, whatsoever, and, and, and that's great. I think that when you turn on a sport, you should not have to be. You should just be able to sit down and enjoy what you're watching. Get sucked into it, and if it's your team playing, then you get to be a fan. If it's your rival playing, then you get to be a fan of the other team and cheer against your rival. That's what sport is supposed to be. That's what it's always been. If you're a Bucks fan right now, what are you thinking? I mean, you wanted to watch this game today. Maybe you were having a bad day at work. Maybe you're having a bad day at home. Uh, maybe, you know, the stress of, of the coronavirus, everything that's going on is, is getting to you. You wanted to sit down and watch your team play basketball, and now you can't do it. Because what? Because they wanted to make a statement about something that has nothing to do with them? 
Yeah, Kenosha's 40 miles from Milwaukee. Well, I got news for you. The Bucks are in Orlando. They're playing games in Orlando, Florida right now. So what are you going to do? What What is this designed to do? You know, I mean, this is... It's... When you have actual tragedies... Not to say that this isn't a tragedy, what's going on again. I'm not going to get into the fact pattern of the Jacob Blake case. But I'm thinking about when players have died. When you have... You know, something like a Sean Taylor situation when he died, or God, Kobe Bryant, that's recent. You know, death around a team, and in some cases, players on actively playing that have passed away. The sport is, it's a, it's a catharsis. It's how you get out there and move past those things that are happening in your life. I mean, we talked about the 16th man, 30 for 30. After you're done watching that, go watch Guru of Go, um, which is about which is about uh, a basketball team, a college basketball team that that uh, a player passed away during a game, and you know they went on this amazing run in the NCAA tournament, and it's this great story because they went out there and they just they play, they used sport as a catharsis um, to get away from all this. And for the athletes, that's the case. And certainly for the fans, that is the case. When you come home and you just want to turn on the game. All you want to do, I just want to turn on the TV and watch basketball. Um, and the Bucks and the Celtics and the Raptors and the Magic, they are depriving you of that ability. Um, and it's, it's sad. And it's... Um, it's... To me, it's just it, it's just a little gross because it's it's not what you're paid to do, right? You're not paid to have a political philosophy. Now, I'm not saying you can't, by all means. You, I mean, you are a free person. You can do whatever you want, but you're paid money to go out there and play basketball. And for people who may be struggling with the many things that you could be struggling with right now, we want to have some catharsis. We we want to have something that we can just turn on and forget about all the things going on in life. And, and now we can't do that. Now we can't do that. Um, I, can't, uh, I can't get behind what these teams are doing. If you wanna go out there and make change, then by all means, do what you need, do what you need to do to feel like you're, you're, you are affecting that change. But refusing to show up and play to do your job that you're getting paid a lot of money to do in a time where a lot of people don't have a job to do. They don't have the ability to leave their job if they want it. You, you have a job and a lot of security and you are refusing to do it because of a situation that doesn't involve you in a state that you are not in. Um, Again, I, I don't. I'm not going to get into my political philosophy. Um, I'm not going to get into the fact pattern of this case at all because it's not why you're here. But I think that I am at least somewhat qualified to talk about the nature of what sport is. Having been a sports fan my whole life and having worked in the sports industry, working in the sports industry, um, I think I'm qualified to talk about what what sport is supposed to be. And this teams refusing to play because of something that doesn't involve them this is not what sport is supposed to be it's not moral from the sense of they're being paid a lot of money and, the, and they're refusing to do their job um, and it's just it's not fair to the fans who have much bigger problems than what these NBA players are dealing with who maybe just want to watch the NBA to get away from that, and now they can't. You've deprived them of that opportunity. So, um, you know, I think uh, people are going to disagree with this, and I think that's that's great. I think that's totally fine. I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing to be wrong, in the sense of you know maybe I'm overlooking, um, you know why this would be so important to these NBA players, why it would be justified for them to do this. If you have an argument for that, please, by all means, go to the comments and, and let's discuss it civilly, of course, um, but I'm more than willing to discuss. Uh, the one thing that I that I won't is is uh, what the what sport is, because I, I just don't think there's any argument in the idea that sport is supposed to bring us together, and it always has. Um, 
but if you have a different read on this situation then please by all means go to the comments and let me know and we can discuss and i'm willing to be proven wrong on this um or to uh to change my opinion at all I, I really am so you know let me know if you have a a different opinion in the comments and really go watch those two 30 for 30s that i mentioned the 16th man and guru of go um i think they're like 45 minutes each so uh, they're, they're absolutely phenomenal uh, especially 16th man they they it's just fantastic and so moving um i was in tears by the end of the movie so um <clears throat> go watch that it is it is tremendous tremendous stuff and uh, i'll give you something to do when you can't watch the nba <laughs> so uh, head down to the comments if you want to discuss anything other than that thanks so much for listening to the ramblings of myself we appreciate you